Hey y'all, welcome, welcome to the theater. You are watching Interstage Window, my Saturday stream, which is a conversation with friends. And today I have here with me Landon. Say hi, Landon. Hi, Landon, coming at you from a new angle. Oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all, look, Landon looks so professional. You can see like her bookcase in the background and she's got like a good angle now where we don't have that kind of like, you, 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 were, you had a little bit of like too much MySpace angle going on there for yes, a minute. Um, a little bit. Look at that, y'all, we look so professional. <laughs> I even have a monitor, which is something you can't see, but it's no more of this like, Oh, I have to look down or look look to the side to see things. I can actually see everything fairly straight on, oh my which God. is awesome. <laughs> We're so excited. We're so excited, you guys. Um, so Kitty with the first welcome in. Kitty, welcome in. Anybody else that Hi, is Kitty. here today? Um, so yeah, okay. That being said, Landon, what are we discussing today? Today, we are ranking our men of the Harry Potter world on what we think they would do with our drink. <laughs> yes um we're gonna show you guys the tier list in just a moment don't worry you can fill it out with us um but before we do that i'd just like to do a few disclaimers as we do for our harry potter streams interstage window is not a spoiler free show so um there's gonna be spoilers duh this is like a mini harry potter stream like come the come on you, you knew this you knew this also um we do not support jk rowling um we don't support mm -hmm. the nonsense she's doing on twitter we don't support a lot of places where she's putting her money nowadays um we're not about that so if you're about that this is not the harry potter space for you um that is what it Bye. is yep <laughs> see you later <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've got a lot of men that we are going to be talking about today. So, so let's get started. Let me show everybody our tiers. So just like we did before, boom, you can see both of our screens. You can see the tiers on both of our screens. We got 26 men to rate and you guys can rate them with us. Here we go. I put a link in the chat. I'll be happy to repost that as people come into the stream today, if you would like to also do your rankings. So, um, Landon, could you, we've got some lovely categories here. Could you, could you read the lovely categories to everybody? We do the top tier category and the category that we wish every man would be in, but aren't is would hold your drink. Mm -hmm. Now here's the deal with this. I think it's important to like, emphasize that this is not only hold your drink but maybe also actively like protect your drink yeah to like hand over the lid glaring at anybody who like tried to come near it sort of thing so the the enthusiastically will hold your drink for you mm -hmm. we have the would not hold your drink which is you know great <laughs> they just be like would no thank you ma'am <laughs> no thank you would abandon your drink now it is important to also note with this one that this could be accidentally abandon your drink such as like just being forgetful and forgetting that they were supposed to be holding your drink and they put it down uh or saying yes and then putting it down on purpose <laughs> and then of course would drink your drink again either purposely because that's who they are or accidentally because they're partnering so hard that they forget that they're it's your drink and not theirs and then of course the troll the terribleness of would spike your drink yes um now uh, before there's we get... a few on here for that <laughs> yes. now before we get started i just want to share um where i fall on this um, depending on how drunk I am, for those of you guys that don't know, when I am incredibly under the influence, I get very sleepy. I don't really know what's going on. Um, and I just want to go to bed. So, you know, if it's later in the night, I'm definitely would drink your drink. I have no idea what's happening around me. Um, I don't remember that this is your drink and I'm going to drink it. That's just, that's just how it is. Cause you know, you handed me a drink instead of helping me find a bed, which is truly what I need at this point. Now, if it's earlier in the night and I've only had maybe one or two, then yeah, I'm going to hold your drink. But like, I'm definitely, um, more in the would drink your drink category. I have to say for myself, Landon, where do you think you are on this tier list? Um, I don't <laughs> drink very often. And when mm. I do, I certainly don't get drunk. Um, I'm a big girl and then also just don't 
enjoy alcohol that much. So I think I am on the would hold your drink. I'm kind of the mm. mother hen of the group. So it's very much like, okay, you've had enough. I'm going to take now. Or if you ask politely, uh, I will just hold your drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So everybody um, heard that you need to give Landon your drinks at the bar. <laughs> yes. But if I don't like you, or I think that you've had enough, I certainly will sit there and be like, I'm so sorry. I lost it. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. So maybe I'm a little between the two of those things. Uh, okay. So we got we got 26 men to go through. So let's get started. Um so who's who's but, first up, Landon? Who's first up? I mean, we need to start with the boy himself, Harry mm-hmm. Potter, correct? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. where we gotta that's where we gotta start this. Mm-hmm. Now I have a theory on this. Okay. I'm going to say this with all the love and kindness in the world. If you choose to give Harry Potter your drink, who is Harry Potter, who has famously been spiked and tried to have been poisoned a couple times throughout the entire series, that's a bad choice because the likelihood of your drink getting spiked while in Harry's hands is higher, not because of Harry, but because... It's Harry freaking Potter. Just need to say that. <laughs> True. You better trust everybody else at that party if you handed your drink to Harry. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> um, that being said, Harry would agree to hold your drink, but then put it down and forget uh, and not pay attention to anybody else around him. Um, yeah, this boy has had like so much abuse in his life. And then he was peppered with fame for many, many years during his adolescence. Um, this poor guy should not be trusted with a drink. Um, he should barely be trusted with the saving the world that he was tasked with. I totally agree with you. He is in would abandon your drink for me. Um, and again, it, not it's not necessarily on purpose. Like he's not being at mean. All. <laughs> he just he's wouldn't not, be aware. Yeah, he's not like yes, ma'am, of course. And then as soon as you walk away, bye. He's just like you know, he's he's got a lot of people come up and talk to talking to him. He's getting a little overwhelmed. Um, you know, the drink. I don't here. I oh yeah, sorry. I don't know. So uh, like that's Harry's answer when you come back. That for is a hundred percent Harry's answer. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and when you come back for your drink, you'd be like, oh, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Please. Yes. All right. Uh, Arthur Weasley. Arthur Weasley. Okay. Now, here's a few things that we know about Arthur Weasley. Mm-hmm. Exuberant mm-hmm. is a good word to describe him. Very, very excitable. Uh, would be honored that you asked him to hold your drink. He would be like, man, so happy that this woman thinks I'm a safe person. Mm -hmm. He'd be thrilled. He would get distracted by a toaster oven, put your drink down, and it would get spiked. Hope that there's no muggle stuff around when you ask (laughs) Arthur to hold your drink. Or any muggles. Yeah. I don't think he would Um, purposefully, like, I don't think he would necessarily abandon your drink. But I do not think he falls into the would hold your drink category either. Um, if he if he makes it through the whole time until you get back, when it comes to holding your drink, you were, were lucky. Um, so for me, he is would not hold your drink. Something would happen. He would accidentally give it away. He would get distracted okay. and put it down. Um, I think that's where he falls for me. If that's how we're taking would not hold your drink, then I agree. I think it is very much like he'd just be like, oh, cool uh yes i enjoy this toaster um or he would also probably be like oh there's a muggle thing that you add to drinks to make it taste better okay like Mm -hmm. you'd be fascinated by it and allow Mm -hmm. it to happen yeah i could see him (laughs) accidentally giving your drink away is is kind of is kind of the thing again not not a peak choice to no. choose to give to your drink your drink no (laughs) uh (laughs) both the fantastic men not great choices. <laughs> well, just to be clear, the top three, these these aren't like super negative. It doesn't really get to oh, like no. negative until you get to would drink your drink or would spike your drink, right? And even then, <laughs> would drink your drink, you read the room. Well, when we, I'm sure when we uh, have would drink your drink, you'll sit there and be like, yes, of course. It's either the frat boys or the selfish boys. Mm-hmm. They, of course, would drink your drink. <laughs> Ooh, we got some fun ones coming up. As you guys can see, we got the whole Weasley clan on here. The whole, all the Weasley boys. All so, the Weasley boys. 
But let's move on to one of our favorite Weasley boys and truly, truly not even going to pretend to hide it, belongs on the top tier of this list. Man the, after Bill my Weasley heart. would 100% hold your drink. And not only would he hold your drink, he would like sit there and be like, I'll hold your drink and I'll get you another so that when you return, you have two drinks. Yes. Oh, my God. He <laughs> totally would do that. And then he would sit there with his hands over both drinks while he waited for you to get yeah. back. No, like no, 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 no. this, this man would be like, you would come back and be like, oh my God, oh my God, Bill, it's too much. Like you didn't have to do all that. Thank you so much. Like Thank that, you so much. that's how it would be. That's how it would be. He'll be like, yeah. And then he'd get into like a, con- he'd like just say something kind about like that he hates that this is what the world has come to. And mm-hmm. unfortunately it is. And that, uh, we hope we have a great e- rest of the evening. And if we ever need our drinks held again to come to him right away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Landon, let me ask you this. Since you're not a big drinker, mm. are are you the person that tries to find someone to hold your drink? Or are you the person that is just like, this is a shot now. Glug. This no one has to hold now. my drink now. <laughs> no. And and without getting a little too much TMI, um, I have what's called teacher's bladder because I'm a teacher, which means that I cannot leave 23 un- unoccupied children alone in a room together without an adult. Even for five uh, and minutes. You learn, <laughs> even for five minutes. So you learn how to hold your bladder for eight hours, which means most of the time. Uh, I'm. It's like, okay, cool. Uh, I'm the person that holds drinks because I don't need a bathroom break. break. Yeah. So I am, I am definitely also the, this is a shot now, let's chug it as opposed to trusting a stranger. Um, and if I cannot do that for some reason, I'm just going to be gross and the drinks come into the bathroom with me. I'm not sorry. Yeah. That's just how it is. It's, it's better. It's better, honestly, mm-hmm. which is the mm-hmm. unfortunate part of, the, of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you know everyone at the party, then it, like, if it's not just a stranger you walk up to and you know yeah. everyone at the party vaguely through friends or whatever, it becomes a little bit easier. Yeah. Some house parties are okay as far as handing someone your drink, I think. But like, if it's actually like or, a public bar or something, then. Yeah. I like to think, I also like to think that maybe this is a dinner party and it's like, you're changing around who, what guest you're sitting next to. So what guest so are you like, sitting next to? Mingling. Would you be willing to leave your drink there or not? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, hey, Rar. Welcome in. Welcome in. <gasps> Hi, Let Rar. me um, give you the tier list, friends, so you can fill this out, too. So this is Harry Potter men that would hold, would they hold your drink at a party? <laughs> Welcome in. Yes. Hell yes. Um, but yeah, of course, you know, we love Bill. Top tier. Like, we'll see if anybody else even ranks above Bill. I'm unsure. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. We got Charlie. 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 I can't. I can't. Um, when I hear the name Charlie, it's Charlie the Unicorn, even though this is Charlie Weasley. Mm. Charlie. That's Let's just go to a Candy different mountain, Charlie. That's just the different versions of the internet we grew up on because mine is like, Charlie, print my finger. Oh, yes. There's that Charlie, too. Yes. <laughs> so many Charlies. Mm-hmm. So Charlie, unfortunately, um, is not really featured in the movie. So as you guys can see here, um, we have just a drawing for poor Charlie. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Um, that's that's why uh, he looks like that. Sorry. Here's the deal. Charlie follows in the footsteps of his elder brother. Kind, exuberant, very protective, I feel like. But also at the same time, he has a tad bit more of his father in him. Yeah. Uh, which means that if you got him on the topic of dragons... Or you got him about something that he was super like excited about. I feel like Charlie might forget that he is holding your drink. Yeah, I think he's really on that line, right? Like between would hold your drink and would not hold your drink. Because I almost yeah. feel like he he has a lot of Arthur in him when it comes to dragons, but he's a bit more self aware. So he might be self aware enough to be like, no, you should give it to somebody else. Um, or or like, why doesn't my friend hold the drink for you? Like he might be self aware enough to actually tell you no i've had too much i will not hold be able to hold your drink for you friend whereas arthur would never know (laughs) yeah whereas bill is like bill's like goodness of like protection of holding drinks comes from i think his inherent like awareness and goodness of himself charlie's a little bit more of a people pleaser i feel like especially the fandom he's he's like the sibling that is more like okay yeah i'll do whatever i can because when you have Bill as an older brother, that's kind of how you have to be. Kitty, oh my God, I don't even, Kitty says, I don't even remember Charlie. I would forget he had my drink. Ah! I Kitty. love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
amazing. Well, I mean, he is the least important. That is why, you know, he's a drawing instead of an actor's yes. picture on our list. We truly, so. we truly don't see Charlie except for the first mm-hmm. book. Because mm-hmm. I'm like trying to think, and he's at the wedding. Yeah. But and I don't even think mentions, they get a conversation. No, he he gets mentioned in um he gets mentioned in, in relation to the, the Triwizard tournament. Yes, there's there's oh that's right. He does have a little bit of the Triwizard tournament. Thank you mm-hmm, for reminding mm-hmm. me. I think um, I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Like a real I think that's it. Yeah, I think the only dialogue we see from him is in the first book and in the fourth book. <laughs> I think you're right. I don't think he even gets any lines at the wedding, even though he's there. Yeah, I think he's just there. He doesn't get any lines. So for this reason, and because I want to kind of keep that wood to hold your drink pure, I'm going to, there's a little bit of doubt. There's enough doubt that I'm going to say would not hold your drink. But 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 he's like, he's ahead of Arthur. Yeah. Ahead of Arthur. Several feet ahead of Arthur. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's almost Um, in wood hold your drink category. Yes. Percy Weasley would just not hold your drink. <laughs> he just, he would look at you and go, why? Yeah. He would and then you'd have to it. explain it. Like he wouldn't even understand the concept as to why he has to hold your drink. Yeah. He would just be like, where are just you leave going? It on the, just leave it on the counter. Yeah. He'd just be like, just leave it on the counter. It's fine. And it's like, yeah. no, man, no, sir. <laughs> It's not fine. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't he doesn't hold drinks. He doesn't wash your purse at the airport. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't do any of that stuff and he doesn't understand no. the concept at all. No. Um he'd be he'd be annoyed that you're bothering him with it. Yeah. Uh, and it's not, not like hold. he'd abandon it. It's not like he would drink your drink because of course he wouldn't drink another person's drink. Mm-hmm. So I think he's just would not hold but like with a angriness to it <laughs> yeah 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 mad that you're drinking yes i almost feel like he would be like why do you drink so much that this is a problem <laughs> like that might even be his attitude too <laughs> yes a hundred percent or he'd be like it, like it just would be like why do you need me to hold, like just drink it or just like wait or just like put it down you're fine yes yeah, like can't you hold it <gasps> like he just would not understand at all you'd have to and i think that once properly explained to him and taught and like the nuance of like why women need men don't need people to hold their drinks when they go to the bathroom once that's educated in him i think he'd like reluctantly do it but the actual educating process of him is just so not worth it because you need to go to the bathroom but you're just like fuck it i'm gonna take it as a shot <laughs> yeah well and i just think like that that's kind of that's kind of his whole character like the entire books no one wants to take a moment to explain shit to him no. so he just keeps being awful the whole series and, <laughs> and i think it's because he just keeps asking questions like he just question after question after question and, and it's, it's like, like i'm okay, so exhausted i it's i'm so exhausted i literally just need to go piss yeah. say, please just hold my drink <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, and unless you explained it perfectly for him to understand he would not hold your drink yep yep and i think this behavior probably gets worse the more drunk he is yeah hundred <laughs> yeah. percent yep um oh, do we are we doing friend and george separately or are we doing them together um i mean i think we can talk about them together and then er, figure out if we want to rank them separately okay. um we do have two separate pictures on here for them uh you can tell which one yes. is which because of the bandage and the missing ear yeah. so because otherwise holy like friend. these I'm these holy. <laughs> the uh the twins like even their actor you know some twins look more like than others even identical twins but these two the two actors that play the twins oh my god they are like so freaking identical um i they cannot really are. tell them apart <laughs> Um, here's the deal. Fred and George would spike your drink. Not with roofies, Mm -mm. but with something that they thought was funny and they Mm -hmm. would not have the like critical thinking as to why that's problematic. Yeah. They would have no idea. Mm -hmm. They would just think it was hilarious. Once educated and horrified, or once it happened to like Ginny, once they had experienced that trauma through somebody else, they would then understand the implication of what they were doing. Mm-hmm. But pre that, uh, they 100% would put something in your drink that turned you into a bird. In fact, they did. They did that. They did that in the books. <laughs> it's canon. It's canon. We it's already canon. know. <laughs> uh, it wasn't drinks. I think it was chocolate, if I remember yeah. correctly. It was but chocolate. They 100- they did it. They did it. And they would spike your drinks. 
Yeah, and they did it in multiple times and in multiple ways. Because remember how they had all the kids testing their yeah. products? Like for a whole book, everyone was getting free candy to test out all of their products before they opened their joke shop. Like they literally did um, did testing, not on like lab mice, not on like um, fully informed volunteers. They did testing on literal children who can't properly consent to that sort of thing. <laughs> Um, and on, that's what they on did. Dudley in the fourth in the yes. fourth uh, they also did it on Dudley where he, they left a piece of candy on the ground and then his tongue grew mm -hmm. uh, and so like 100% I think in this context would just think it was funny yeah. uh, and it's not here's the deal I think George slightly less likely to do it Oh, Fred. so you th think the other way. Okay, so I need to swap mine the other way. Because you're probably right. Yeah. Slightly I think George less. Is, is a slightly more, he's slightly more grown up. He's slightly more aware um, than Fred. And but like just Fred, barely. Just barely. Still, and, still in Wood Spike Your Drink. Yeah. And, it, and the thing is, is that even if George was like, mm, I don't know about that, Fred would be like, well, I do. And then George would be like, okay. <laughs> 100%. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. All last right. Weasley. Last Weasley. What about what about Juan Juan? He he'd drink your drink. He would, he, but like not in the way of like maliciously, like purposefully. But he a hundred percent. You hand it to him, he'd a hundred percent be like, oh, drink, <laughs> and just drink it. He would be uh, he'd like, can you hold? Can you hold my drink? This is like how the conversation would go. Ron, can you hold my drink? I got to go pee. And Ron would be like, of course, I'd love to hold your drink. And he would be like. Wow, where did this drink come from? Mm, yum. Okay. He, he'd be in the middle of a conversation and just and just drinking it. And mm -hmm. then you'd come back and he'd be like, oh shit, let me get you another. But 100% that drink's gone. This I vibe with Ron so much on this because I feel like this is drunk me. This is drunk me. And I would feel so crushed. I would feel so crushed afterwards, but I would I would definitely replace the drink. But um, like in in my drunken state, I don't think I would understand enough of what was going on to not just start sipping your drink. <laughs> yeah, he would just forget, and I there's like nothing nothing on Ron. But like again, these are the choices we have, mm -hmm, and he mm -hmm. would 100% drink your drink, and he'd hate it too. Like that's the other thing too is that like if he hated your drink for whatever reason, he maybe just doesn't like rum because he's boring uh he'd still power through it <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like why did i order this disgusting drink sip sip <laughs> yeah. Yeah. definitely doesn't have some money to money price to borrow it from hermione yes <laughs> <laughs> thanks autocorrect for giving us harmony instead of hermione that's hilarious <laughs> um i also think that like there's something to be said about how ron's like whole motivator in the books and in movies is food and so, like, anytime any food or drink are involved, he just loses all semblance of control. Yes. Uh, so, like, that's part of it. <laughs> Ron eats like a 90s anime character. Yes, he does. He, he eats like a growing teenage boy who plays sports, mm -hmm. which is, at the end of the day, who he is. That's true. Um, <laughs> but yes. No. Love it. Yeah, I just want to right. reflect here. We've got... We've got almost a Weasley in every tier. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is great. I love it. <laughs> None of them yeah. would abandon your drink. Yeah, Rar, I, um, I, I, me too. Me too. <laughs> I vibe with Ron a lot, I feel like, <laughs> on this. Ron's a, like, I used to have people who would be upset that they would be like the Rons. I'm like, Ron's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Less so in the movies, but in the books, Ron is great. Yeah. He's in fantastic. The yeah, in the books, it's more insulting, I think, to be, like, saying that you're the Hermione. But in the movies, it's yes. the opposite way around, for sure. Really the Weasleys is. have range. Yes, they do. The Weasleys do have range. There's a Weasley for everybody. There's well, a Weasley for everybody. Kind of, this just kind of goes to show that <clears throat> holding your drink at a party, I don't think, is a, like, neat, like, a very much like a Hogwarts house sort of thing, where they're all in Gryffindor. Well, it turns out Gryffindors also spike your drinks. Yes, they do. Because they think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go to lee jordan lee jordan announcer extraordinaire does not get enough time in the books all we really know about him is that he's fred and george's bestie um but the movies are like fuck that he's the only black character so we're gonna give him a lot more screen time and it's great it's great it's great yeah just long size 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Problematic that this even had to happen, but that's that's the reality of it. That's what happened. Truly. <laughs> really. Here's the deal. Lee Jordan, though, is not... Oh, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while. The fourth book was, like, a few months ago. Um, He's not part of the testing, is mm-hmm. he? No, not that I recall. No. So he doesn't... He's not part of the testing. The Weasley twins are. Which, to me, says something that he would not spike your drink. Yeah. Uh, so he's not, like, a part of that. So I think he'd know that that's not okay. Uh. I could see, because he is the life of the party and the announcer, that he could drink your drink. Mm-hmm. I could see him abandoning your drink. I don't see him not holding your drink. Yeah, I think I definitely... I don't think definitely if you ask Lee, he's going to say yes. yes. But what he so does with your drink... Here. Yeah, what he does with your drink afterwards, I think is a little bit more ambiguous. It depends on what fanfic you're reading, because that's where he actually gets development, is in fix. Um, yes. so to me, based on what I think about Lee Jordan, I think he is in the would drink your drink category. I agree. Um, not necessarily maliciously, but just more like, you know, you handed him a drink. And so he thinks like, this is what you do with drinks. You drink them. And, um, <laughs> and I don't know that he would feel bad <laughs> about it exactly when you came back. Uh, he would replace it if you asked him, but I don't think he would necessarily yeah. like think about it he would just be like oh yeah yeah uh sorry i drank your drink friend um i yes yes i like that so i'm gonna put him below ron for that reason that he would not replace the drink automatically Mm -hmm. yes i think he would not no disagrees thus far (laughs) uh yeah 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 um so yeah that's lee jordan for me neville motherfucking longbottom Ah! would hold this drink like it's his goddamn job mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he would never let it go nope. until a, 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 a hand like i don't even here's what i think neville would do i think neville would set the drink down he'd put a book over the drink and he'd put his elbow on the book <laughs> <laughs> like i don't even think a hand is enough at this point <laughs> oh my god yeah neville no i mean neville i don't think would go as far as bill as far as like fully grasping all the different nuance of what's going on in this situation. But I definitely think he would do just as good a job as Bill would at holding your drink. You asked him to do something, he would do it. Yeah. And I, and I actually think he would do it with more conviction than Bill. Like as far, not because maybe because he doesn't understand the nuance Mm -hmm. of what is happening. Bill is like, we're trying to make this a casual thing because he don't want to make it a big deal. But Neville would be like, you trusted me with your life, with your drink. So I will I will do everything in my power to make sure no one touches this fucking thing until you come back. Exactly, exactly. Because he doesn't like really he understand s- fully why you've asked him. He just knows uh-uh. that you've, he's been given an important task. <laughs> yes, Rar. The drink would go to the Green God Skull Vault. Absolutely. If he, uh-huh. had, if he felt that your bathroom break would take that long, he would do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 100 percent. uh so he is he is my top t- like he's above bill for me because of that but does he, he forget wait 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 kitty he, does he forget it's your drink though and fight you for it when you go to take it back if he is like if he is blackout <gasps> drunk i could see it honestly that sounds hilarious exactly put that in a fic it, please i think please put that in a fic I 100% think he would, which I think still still does the would hold your drink. <laughs> like, <laughs> would hold your drink that you're not even allowed to get it back. He would hold it so hard that you can't even so have hard. it back when you return. <laughs> yeah. Which is why no one asks him to hold drinks. It's not because he would forget it. It's not because he would do anything to it. It's because he just would be so drunk <laughs> that he wouldn't give it back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, oh my god i love that poor neville poor neville (laughs) fucking hysterical Mm -hmm. all right right. shame is finnegan no i didn't realize we've huh no i think i think that's oliver wood oh it's oliver wood you're right i don't think we did not we did not do seamus and dean that's right no we didn't which is fine yeah they both i'll give you the short of it they both would abandon your drink they would <laughs> i just i had to You're stop like, sure. at some point because i didn't know how long this stream would take and i could have added like 50 more dudes um but yeah, at some point i stopped myself been, 
so <laughs> many. All right. Yeah, Oliver Wood, though. Oliver okay. Wood. I know Shadow doesn't really come to the streams very much, but y'all know she's like a, a friend of ours and she had the biggest Oliver Wood crush. And so like so I had I had like uh, her in mind a little bit when I put this on here. Like, oh, we have to know what Oliver Wood would do. <laughs> here's the deal. I feel like Oliver Wood would be kind of in the similar realm of Percy, but not in the like you need to explain it to me thing, but more in the like, I this is not we're talking about Quidditch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, we're, this is not a time. No, why are you asking me to hold your drink? You're fine. Sort of thing. He's watching the match on TV. You know what he I mean? He is watching. He's listening to the radio so hard that he, that he would not hold your drink. And if he did hold his, your drink and the team he was rooting for scored, the drink would no longer exist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It would get knocked over, like, in his revelry would, of jumping, yes. up, you know? And he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even know, like you wouldn't even notice it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why so, are you interrupting me? We're talking about Quidditch. Why are you leaving? Come back. <laughs> yes. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, or he would agree, like, cause he's half listening to you. He'd be like, yeah, whatever. Um, but he wouldn't like pick up your drink. He'd just be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And then like not reach for your drink. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think he'd hold your drink. I think I that think he, he would, either. would be more likely to hold your drink than Percy. So he's yes. above Percy for me. But he would not hold your drink. Well, he wouldn't be a jerk about it. Like he would say no yeah. much more nicely. Um, and you could just go find somebody else. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm busy. Yes. I'm he'd be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Like he's, he would say uh -huh, yes uh -huh. while, while like staring so hard at the radio that you would just be like, oh, that means no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> this next one's tough for me because I'm not going to lie. Victor Crumb, it still eats me a little bit that Victor Crumb was an 18-year-old boy dating a 14-year-old girl. And that does have wood spike your drink energy. <laughs> Karen's just like, whatever. Victor might be like a little bit too old for Hermione, but he also doesn't He's speak jump. very good English. And he probably doesn't <laughs> realize Hermione is as young as she is because she's so intelligent. He, he doesn't know. Okay. Like when he got interested in her, asked her out he didn't know, like in my mind anyway, like he didn't know that she was a lot younger. He just thought this is a really smart girl. No one seems to like her. I don't know why no one's noticing this amazing, intelligent beauty. Um, I would like to notice her. He has no clue that she is not also like 17, 18, right? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. It just, it does give, and I understand that he's sheltered. Like, I get it. He's sheltered. He didn't but he know just, anything. He just doesn't know English. Quidditch. He's not really sheltered. He just, he literally no, but doesn't that, know. But that is in the books that, like, Quidditch is his life. So oh, the yeah. idea of, like, socializing outside of anything but Quidditch, I mean, that's why he's extremely much alone the entire time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yes, Roar, it was. <laughs> yeah. It's um, age gap. It, it is age gap. Yeah. However, I do agree that he is gentlemanly and polite and has had enough PR uh, sessions with his public relations agent that he knows he has to hold your drink. Yeah. He's just he not enthused definitely. about it. And I think that it wouldn't necessarily, like, he would say, he would say yes in the sense of, like, you know, kind of like Neville in the sense of, like, you asked him to do something that's clearly important to you, so he's going to do it, even if he doesn't necessarily understand what's going on. Yeah, I don't think it has like any of the honored behind it, but you asked him to do something, so he he just stand there and take yeah. a drink. He would just be like, um, yes. but he wouldn't understand the nuance. He wouldn't understand why. And mm -hmm. there's a chance that if you asked him very fast in English, he wouldn't understand what he's supposed to do. He'd only have the context of this is my cup now, and then <laughs> hope you come back for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he would think to drink it. I would think he would still think like this is their drink. They handed it to me for some reason. I'm I missed why, but I'm just gonna hold it and pray that they come back. <laughs> Kitty, this is an important thing that I have to talk about. Durmstrang is not an all-boys school. I don't mean to yell at you. 
but it's not all boys. That is she's a movie not yelling choice. at you. And it was a stupid. She's not yelling at you. She's yelling at the choice. movies. She's yelling at the movies Jesus. for making a really dumb aesthetic decision. Yeah, it's not uh, an all boys school. That's it's not, not a an thing. all boys school. No, it's both Boba Tonks and Durmstrang are co-ed in the books. Mm-hmm. The movies decided to make them uh, boys and girls school and have Hogwarts be the only co- co-ed school. But yeah. it doesn't make any sense because that's assuming then that no French, no French boy wizards go to school and no no uh, Bulgarian young women go to school. Yeah, like it's stupid. Yeah, because the schools are literally it's, the regional. It's my, schools of their area right so like Bobatons, you would expect like french probably some german um you know and some of those other countries around there they would go to Bobatons, and then um bulgaria and some of those um you know countries that are around that sort of uh you know cent- that part eastern, of central europe the eastern yeah central europe, eastern central eastern europe yeah, yeah like they would go to to durmstrang um it's literally regional just like hogwarts is intended to be for um you know england and ireland and scotland it's the same yeah exactly <laughs> kitty that emoji's uh, appropriate <laughs> it's my number one pet peeve. And I, like I said, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to yell at you, but it yeah. is, that is my number one thing. Um, so, yeah. Bobaton boys would have been hella cute in the movies, though. They would have. Imagine they like were. a Bobaton's. In the, in the books. <laughs> yeah, imagine like a Bobaton's boys uniform where they had like, you know, they had like a um like a pants suit with a little like shawl over it, right? Um, wouldn't that be so cute? Wouldn't they that be so cute? Were... Oh, man. Just, I'm sorry, I flashed to Draco Malfoy fan fiction uh, about like Draco dating a young Boba Tonks boy uh, and because he speaks French. And that's the other thing too, is that, is that he was going to go to Boba Tonks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were going to, they were going to send him a, across the, you Wait, know. They were considering pulling him from, from, oh. Yeah. And that would be the mm-hmm. next closest school is Boba Tonks. Lynn, are you okay? Oh. Hi, we can hear you. Uh oh, she lost us, guys. She cannot hear me anymore. Let me type in the right. chat. Ha! I'm Hello? back. Hello. Okay. Sorry. I'm back. No, you were you we're were there the whole time. You just couldn't hear me. I yeah, could hear I you the whole time. <laughs> so Weird. something happened with your earbud. Everything else was fine. Rolling probably Speaking asked for it so they could do, could stuff gender shit in. I don't think so. I really don't. I think it was purely no, an aesthetic, aesthetic choice for the choice. movies. And she didn't. She, I mean, she didn't fight it. I don't. I don't think. But I don't think she asked for it. Um, she just didn't care enough to say no because she doesn't really it, think about gender in that way. Yeah, it was an aesthetic choice for that cool, awesome c- scene um, at the beginning when they're introducing all of the of the different schools, and they wanted this soft, beautiful Boba Tonks sort of entrance, and so that immediately connected to girls with Fleur being the with Fleur being the representative, and uh, then of course with Crumb strong Mm -hmm. independent men uh it was an easy it was an easy thing to make gendered um but it was for purely aesthetic purposes yeah it didn't have to be they could have kept bobaton's soft aesthetic and still made it co-ed they could have kept durmstrang's hard aesthetic and still made it co-ed they did not have to do gen they don't have to gender it as well they could have kept the aesthetics without the gender but they didn't men are not allowed to be soft and women are not allowed to be tough and hard and carry sticks whatever I hate it. <laughs> anyway. Rara, Rara, you know, for a second, I thought that I really thought that's how it was spelled. So you weren't you weren't far enough off to fool me. I was like, oh, that's how you spell Bobaton. Oh, I haven't looked it up in a while. <laughs> so you're good. You're good, friend. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. So we've got the last of our kiddos. We've got the last of our kiddos. Uh, I, I put Draco here on purpose for last. <laughs> what do you think, Brandon? Um... <laughs> I mean, Draco Malfoy would 100%, in my mind, abandon your drink. He 100% would be like, yes, I'll carry, I'll I'll hold your drink. And then he would set it down and leave. So I actually think he would drink your drink. I think he would be like, oh. sweet. I think he would say, yes, of course. And he'd be like, fucking sweet, free drink. No, because here's the, de- no, because here's the deal with that is that it wasn't, if it wasn't top shelf vodka or fire whiskey, he wouldn't want to fucking drink it. Because you know that he's like, I'm not going to drink a drink that's less than 14 galleons. Okay, but how does he know that <laughs> until he drinks it? So maybe he drinks it first and he's like, this is gross. Fair. And then he abandons it. But if it's good, then I, he drinks it. I can support that decision. I 100% though, the Draco Malfoy in my mind would be like, yeah, I guess. 
<laughs> and then set I it just, down and leave. <laughs> I think the um the point of this is is that Draco Malfoy is definitely the person that says yes and then doesn't actually yes. hold your drink. Yes. Um yes, exactly yes. where you put him can vary for your interpretation of Draco. I think he drinks it um personally, but he definitely says yes um and then, you know, betrays you. Yes. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Would I ask um, him anyways an excuse truly, to bump into his dad? Yes. <laughs> also truly queer culture though. Like mm-hmm. I'm gonna just to sit there and be like, yes, I'll hold your drink and then not do it is it's very queer. <laughs> well, you know, these these sorts of actions come from trauma. Trauma so. or drugs. <laughs> <laughs> or drugs, that's true. But yeah, right. I definitely think Draco says yes, but then doesn't really hold your drink. Um, but before, you know what, I want to actually pause here. Before we go to the adults, we're about halfway-ish through of our peoples. I think it's time for a little ad break. <gasps> Who's our ad? Well, it's Audible, as it is all the time, because we love Audible. Uh, Audible obviously gives you vi- uh, video books. Oh, my God. audiobooks to listen to <laughs> should you dislike reading or are a slow reader but still want to engage in stories of fiction. Uh, Audible is a great choice and an option, a great opportunity to uh, read some books and expand your taste a little bit. Videos um, for the ears, yes. <laughs> yeah, if you sign up for with our Audible link, uh, we uh, it supports the show, but also uh, you get to have a 30-day free trial where you get a free audiobook. Yes, yes, yes. So this week's audiobook is... Uh, I kind of based it off of the idea of these are two boys that would gladly hold your drink, but it's also epic and sad, and it's all my favorite things. So this is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Uh, Truly tragic and sad and wonderful queer love story about uh, two boys who uh, get a call in the morning being told that they're going to die within the next day, and they meet and fall in love. And uh, I'll let the uh, title spoil what happens at the end. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry y'all had to hear that engine revving right outside my window oh, almost no. the whole time. I know. I'm um, so sorry for that, guys. Like, I, I gave it a dirty look for you. I, it, it, they can't see me through the curtain, but I, that energy. I could there. not hear it. I could not hear it on Zoom. So I'm so sorry I kept talking. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Well, um, it says, according to my thing, the OBS picked it up, but we'll see if it's actually oh, in. Fun. You didn't hear the car at all. Oh, thank you. Well, if Rar and Landon both didn't hear it, it's okay then. I'm okay. <laughs> Hope their whole engine falls out. Me too, Kitty. It's actually, I'm pretty sure it's the neighbor that we don't like. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> guess what? won't be your neighbor soon oh my god oh my god yeah oh huh, i have to update you guys so um as you guys knew from last week uh we started stream a little bit late because we had um a, a realtor come to our house because we're selling this house of course and we're moving this coming this next weekend we're moving um already sold the house already sold the house she what? listed it uh, yeah she listed it on sunday um evening by monday evening we had sold it it is under contract um Holy shit. yep yep i did not know that that's yep. bonkers congratulations <laughs> thank you thank you thank you um yes, yes. it is it, everything's moving along we're gonna close selling this house a week after we close on the house that we're moving to so um it's all like falling into place and uh and yeah the market's crazy here i cannot believe someone snapped it up that fast but they did so yeah yeah insane absolutely insane <laughs> oh That's we lost crazy. your audio oh there we go yeah give me hold on my earbuds are acting up so just give me 10 seconds okay i'll tell y'all um more then so so basically the plan is this next weekend we are going to be moving so that does mean that i'm not going to be streaming for the first half of august because it's going to take time to get moved into that house to do the closing to sell this house to set up everything in the new house and all of that stuff so i'm going to be taking a two week break mm-hmm. from streaming before um uh, before we come back but we'll talk about that more at the end so yeah very exciting how's the earbud is it good landon no uh-oh poor earbuds so yeah, 
very soon, very soon. So basically the next time you guys see me on stream, I will have a whole new setup in the background. It's going to be awesome. I was trying to see if there was a kitty in here that I could show you guys it's while um, Landon's fixing her earbuds, but I don't have any kitty cats. Rhea is in here, but she is all the way under the desk, so I can't get her. Do you think the animals sense the change? They should. There's boxes all over the house, literally. So I don't see how they don't notice that there's change coming. Landon, can you hear me yet? Oh, she's still messing. She's still messing. Oh, we cannot hear you. We can't hear you. No friend. I cannot hear you because something oh. is going on, but my hey. audio died completely. So I am troubleshooting and I will hopefully be back in a second. Okay. So sorry. We can hear you now. Okay. I, wait, I t let's type to her. We can hear you now, Landon. Um, uh, but I guess you cannot hear me. There we go. <clears throat> so if we look at this, I feel like are we doing the same thing we did on the last tiers where we're in the same order, but slightly different categories? I think that's exactly what we're doing. We're just putting them in slightly different categories. What do you guys have? Kitty, where where are some of your peeps? Um, are you matching us? Do you have any differences? What about you, Rar? Are you matching us pretty close or do you have differences on your tiers? I would love to see y'all's too when you save them. When you do finish your tier list and uh, and you can save it in 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 uh, if you have an account, you can save it. <clears throat> I would love if you guys would post them in the Discord. You can post them in the fandom chat or you can post them in the stream chat. Either way, I think is a good idea. You should share. Hello, Landon. I am back. Yay. Sorry. You're good. You're good. Okay. I don't have any differences. Okay. Interesting, Kitty. I guess we're, our arguments are just very compelling or very matching on the fandom. <laughs> this is it. All right. Adult time. With our men, huh? Yeah. Well, speaking of daddies, <laughs> <laughs> um, Lucius Malfoy, which, by the way, you chose the ultimate picture of him looking absolutely deranged, but also mm -hmm. incredibly sexy. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love my favorite picture of him. I love it so this much. He looks. He looks out of his mind. Unhinged. Yeah. Truly unhinged. Yeah. Just the red bag. They're just like you know. He is like seeping way too much into the evil magic and you can see it like in this just like he's just got this awful redness like right here. Love it. Um, Lucius Malfoy would not hold your drink. No, he would not. He could not. not be deigned to hold your fucking drink. In fact, you should be holding his drink at all times. He wants to know where your house elf is. He does want to know where your house elf he's is. He's literally, he would look at you and go like, where is your house elf? No, he, only in he, his voice which is way better than mine <laughs> what am i an elf no. yes kitty yes <laughs> oh my god he would a hundred percent uh and then like even if it was at a party where there weren't elves or whatever he would just a hundred percent be like do i look like i hold drinks yeah like he yeah. doesn't hold his own drink unless like there is an elf following him around at all times mm -hmm. yeah Definitely like an I'm not the help energy. Why are you asking me? Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> and and that it's a great insult. This is the greatest insult you could have given me by yeah. asking me to hold your drink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, 100%. 100%. <laughs> all right. I, put, I feel like I put all the problematic ones, um, super problematic boys together. It wasn't ne in necessarily intentional. I don't know. It's just the we order I some, thought of them in. We got some <laughs> problematic boys at the end, too. Oh, we do. <laughs> we sure do. We sure do. Uh, Snape. It matters who you are. Yeah. But I feel like, I feel like Snape would, would spike your drink. Okay, so Snape would protect Lily's drink with his absolute life. If you are not Lily, then <laughs> he would he would then, he would poison your drink. He I would think poison he would. your drink. Yeah. Um uh, this, and it wouldn't be to be funny. No. <laughs> he would spike your drink. And I think exactly and he's so talented at potions, exactly what he used would depend on who you are and um and your relationship to him and how drunk you are too like i would definitely yeah. i could definitely see snape if you handed him your drink and you were too drunk and just being annoying as fuck for him to be like sleeping drought then you will yeah. get out of my face 
he'd he'd think that this would teach you a lesson to not ask you to ask him to hold your drink again. Yes, he would so li- later be like, I did this for he, you. It would be, a, yeah, it would be like a, I want to, she's going to not ever ask me again. And that's good because I don't want her to. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Lily's drink, he would hoard like no other. I hope he spits in my drink. Kitty, you, we could not be so lucky. Me too, but we could not I be so lucky. I, we're, I, this is y'all not... are y'all need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I love a bad man, and I don't want him to get better. We have we have had this conversation. <laughs> we had this conversation. <laughs> I'm the same way. I know it's just Snape is a you know Snape. Well, because you're Jilly. I mean, you're a Jilly, so you know you just can't vibe with that. You can't vibe with. I that. just it's also the bad teacher thing. I think he's a terrible. It. That's teacher. more. It's actually more than Jilly. I think it's the terrible I'm just like man this is my profession you cannot do that shit <laughs> I think if he was anything else I'd be like oh yeah hi daddy I never <laughs> call Snape daddy I hate that I just did that um <laughs> but so this is why Lucius is better than Snape for you it's purely because yes. Lucius is not a teacher true actually that is the thing yes 100 <laughs> percent because Lucius would be abusive to the kids too like let's be real he would oh yeah he'd be a terrible teacher but at least <laughs> i was gonna be like but he's like but he looks down at teachers because mm-hmm. he he's like man I, at least i was born rich so be better next time in your next life be born <laughs> rich so that you don't have to be a teacher that's his kind of stance it's true <laughs> gross 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 sorry rar <laughs> I hated it. It came out of my mouth and I was just like, <laughs> I'm, I never, I don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, Snape right. is 100% would spike your drink. Lucian would just lock the class in the closet and have a cocktail <laughs> the whole hour. Lucius, yeah, 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 Lucius, you're right. Not Lucian, yeah. close though. Yeah, yeah, Lucius. <laughs> he totally would. He totally would. But we have we not met some teachers like that? I can I can recall some teachers like that. You know, it's movie time, children. And then they drink their, you know, um, Irish coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. There's some teachers like that. I'm not one of them. Okay. <laughs> Give her five years, y'all. I'm just kidding. Landon would never you do mean, that. She actually I, cares. <laughs> I would not do that during school. There would be, there are many a days that it's like, man, it's three o'clock. There are no more little children here. <laughs> getting drunk at the bar (laughs) party time all right party time peter pettigrew rat boy would spike your drink would spike your drink because the dark lord told him to do it no okay so here's the deal well okay if the bar whatever the dark lord told him to do he would do so i think we have to take that out of it i think peter pettigrew bless his soul um would be so like what the fuck confused that someone even asked him he would panic and abandon your drink okay are we thinking because i feel like there's two different pedigrees right? there is there's two different pre rat there's pre, there's pre-rat pedigree who i agree like in his time at hogwarts during a hogwarts party if was asked to hold someone's drink he a hundred percent would have a panic attack and abandon it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then there is post rat pedigree mm-hmm. which i just feel like would spike your drink (laughs) i think it really depends on if voldy is around like if voldemort's around he's looking at voldemort going what should i do with this and voldemort's like spike it and he's like yes sir um but if voldemort's not around i think that even post rat pettigrew panics and abandons your drink all right well would not stop someone from spiking it while he's holding it absolutely true absolutely true yes absolutely true he would not drink your drink because that would be rude, but he would abandon it and he would let mm-hmm. somebody else spike it. Mm-hmm. Um, whose drink he would hold, though, is Lucius Malfoy's. Absolutely. He would 100% hold Lucius Malfoy's, hold drink. Lucius Malfoy's drink. He, he would, would hold, hold anything Bella. Lucius Malfoy. <laughs> but, uh, I think he would hold Bella out of fear and yes. he would hold Lucius out of desperation. Bingo. Being like, please like me. <laughs> You're I'm so a right. I'm a 35-year-old man, but please like me. Mm-hmm. He's still, I mean, um, even as an adult, he has like pick me energy for real. Oh, he does. Yes. Yeah. Um, Cause he wants to be picked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Sirius Black. Okay. Sirius Black, um, would, the man child. The uh, ultimate would drink your drink. Yeah. He kind of is, you know, cause Sirius Black 
is forever 17. Um, he never grows up ever. And, um, and yeah, he has major would drink your drink energy. He, like <laughs> this is this is how the conversation with Sirius Black would be: is that you would be like, "Hey, Sirius," and you would hold out your drink, like getting prepared to ask the question. He would cut you off mid sentence. He would grab your drink, and he'd be like, "Thanks, lovey," and then he'd drink the whole thing in front of you. You know who else that is? That's also Klaus from Umbrella Academy. You, he's absolutely like that same character. <laughs> <laughs> but that is i mean he 100 percent would be like oh yeah thanks thanks for giving me this drink and it's like no i was gonna ask you to hold it but i guess that solves the problem no i think you're right <laughs> thanks love drink 100 <laughs> percent. Mm-hmm. yes 100 <laughs> percent. it wouldn't you wouldn't even get to get the question out Mm-mm. um Mm-mm. i think however just a nuance here it's not going to change where he is in the rank i think that if you were able to get the question out and he was charged with it, he would, he would watch your drink. But his strategy is to never let somebody ask him the question. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kitty, that's an interesting perspective. <laughs> he would never pay attention to a woman when a mate is around boys boy all the way through. I have seen this interpretation of Sirius. So I can't say that you're wrong, Kitty. And, um, and he definitely doesn't like do anything in the books that makes me think that that interpretation is wrong. Um, he totally yeah. can be that. Uh, so then he would be a would not hold if you're going with that kind of interpretation of Sirius. I find I find that fandom Sirius is is he's just much more like he he wants to have fun. He wants to be forever young, like yeah. play boy sort of thing. So I don't think it it's a would not hold because I think that he is a gentleman. He was raised. In, he was raised in a household that would tell him he has to hold drinks. He would be polite and kind because that is just who Sirius is. Um, but at the end of the day, he would drink your drink. <laughs> he would not. He would not let you get the question out. He would just simply sit there and say, "Yes, I will. Yes, thank you for bringing me my drink." Now, I also just think it's really funny the idea of being like, "Oh, thank you so much." And- Glug, like that's just funny to me so yeah and then in mid conversation he'd be like thank you so much lovey and then he'd drink it and go back to talking with james mm-hmm. like that's a hundred percent how it'd be it'd be like okay you're an asshole thanks so much yeah, i think that's true <laughs> <laughs> all right jimmy p james potter james potter um karen where are you gonna put this man So I think James is basically a good boy. He is kind of a bully, but here's the deal. He is the sort of bully that has justifications in his mind for like why it's okay to bully certain people and not others. I think in his heart, he really is a lot about like justice. And so to him, he's like bullying evil, you know, even though like it's the reality is more complicated than that. And he shouldn't have treated Snape how he treated him. Right. Like, I think in his mind, it's like, this is a bad person. I'm going to punish this bad person. And I just don't see him like thinking in that way in regards to a drink. If someone asks to hold the drink in his mind, like he's following his like honor code. Right. And so he's like, yes, because that is the thing that you're supposed to do unless he thinks this person is evil. And then he's saying no, but I don't think he does any of the like lying or anything like that. I think he definitely gives a true answer. And most of the time it's would hold your drink. I agree. Um, And I think even more so, like, I think that given his parentage Mm -hmm. and given like everything like that, he has been, he has been, his mother has whipped him into shape about that you hold, if someone asks you to hold something, you do. Mm -hmm. And then after his mother instilled that lesson, Lily explained the nuance of Mm -hmm. why you have to hold a woman's drink. And he was like, yes, this is the right thing to do. I will hold this drink and I will make sure no one touches it. (laughs) Yep. And then if if in some, if somehow, some way, Snape asked him to hold his drink, I think he would not pretend, he would just say no. You know, or somebody oh, yeah. that he thought I, of on that level. I think that if a boy, I and I think that like that it's like, oh, it's the seventy sexism, right? If a man mm-hmm. asked him to ask hold his drink, you'd be like, no, <laughs> find a table. <laughs> 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 but as is polite and the right thing to do, when a woman asks him to hold his drink, her drink, he will do it. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree. Uh, All right, Moon Moon. Moon Moon. Moon Moon. Moon Moon is just a sweet, polite guy who would understand the nuance and it would never cross his mind to say no. Yeah. He would, of course, hold your drink. Yes, 100%. He would, he would not have the, like, the ex, like, excitability of Neville to hold your drink, mm-hmm. but he 100% would be like, yeah, of course. He no would be really chill about it. He, you know what he would do? He would stop serious mid drink from drinking yep. your drink. And then he would be like, do you still want this? He'd look at you and be like, do you still want the, the dog touched it? But do you still want this? Um, <laughs> and or... Sirius is just stumbling because he, he's still, his hand is still like this, even though the drink is in, um, is in Remus's hand now. And he's like. <laughs> yeah. Or he would see that Sirius did this. Be like, not again. And then he'd be like, I will get you another drink. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> would um would he would hate that he can't leave the party until you come and get it true <laughs> true 100 true. true like that but would he be... would stay at the party the <laughs> most introvert person would stay at the party even though he hates it if you never came back for your drink like if you saw remus the next day he would give you the most disappointed look because you made him stay at that party for an hour longer because he went looking for you and couldn't find you because you had already passed out or you know whatever the heck happened also would never tell you that no he'd just look at you just look at you disappointedly and he'd be like what he'd be like (laughs) yes it's fine that's what would happen absolutely Um, Rubius Hagrid. Hagrid. I think Hagrid would drink your drink. Okay, so here is Hagrid's most, um, most frequent character trait. Opening his mouth and saying shit that he shouldn't have said. So he definitely says yes without even thinking yeah. about oh, it. Oh, absolutely. And, and then I would agree. He most likely and I think drinks he would, your drink. He would hold your drink but i think that he would get distracted he he would be the person like where ron very similar to ron where ron would just be like oh this is mine now but like Ru, like hagrid would like be like oh no i'm holding this for lanson oh i'm holding this for that and then just in mid-conversation forget about it just take the drink yeah someone comes up to talk to him about like dragon eggs or something right and he's just like oh oh yeah and then he's just drinking it because he has it in his hand and he's being yeah. sociable and that's what you do. You have a drink in your hand, you drink it. Mm-hmm. And and I think very much like Ron, he'd be very apologetic. He'd sit there and be like, oh, let me make it up for you. But again, you don't want the drinks that Hagrid makes because Hagrid has shit taste. It's true. We do not want Hagrid's <laughs> cooking or drinks or baking or anything. Anything. We don't. So he would <laughs> he would drink your drink. Yes, absolutely. Lockhart. <laughs> Lockhart does not give a fuck about your drink. <laughs> okay, does not give a but fuck. here's my thing too. Here's the deal though. If Lockhart <laughs> thought that he could win adoration from you, he would spike your drink. Like, I feel like he would spike your drink with like a friendship potion. Yes. If he had a crush, he would so 100%. put a love potion in your drink. He, he would. 100% would be the kid who made a love potion and spiked the person's potion. So right. 100%. Teenage Lockhart He's... absolutely spikes drinks. Oh my god. Teenage teenage Lockhart hundred percent spikes drink. hundred percent. Uh yeah, no, he the man does not understand consent. He is just every fuckboy that's ever existed. He's not fun about it. In fact, I'm putting him below Snape. Because oh. Snape at least thinks that he's teaching you a fucking lesson. <laughs> God, Lockhart agree. thinks Lockhart thinks agree. that the love potion that he put on you is the reality. It unlocks your actual true feelings. Mm-hmm. Lockhart, oh wait, oh I love this. Lockhart tells everyone he's holding your drink for you, but it's actually his drink. You never asked him to hold your drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's he? true because every girl knows that if he holds your drink, he's spiking it. It's um, true. Oh my that's, god, Lockhart. That's, Here's, here's my thing. That's the that's the evolution, right? It starts with him being asked to hold drinks. He starts spiking drinks. People find out that he starts spiking drinks. So now he has to pretend that he's holding other people's drinks so that other people think that he's still trustworthy. Oh but everyone God. knows that he's just holding his own drink. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, it's true. Oh my god, it's true. That's there the evolution of, of Lockhart. <laughs> there is absolutely like Bill Cosby type of allegations against yes. Lockhart 100%. 100%. When Me Too hits the when Me Too hits the wizarding world, 100% uh allegations against him and the worst part is is because his memory is fucking gone. He doesn't know. He can't remember. So he's, he's never just held like, accountable. He's just like, really? I did that? Really? I don't think oh, I did wow. that. He gaslight you sure. from not remembering. Yeah, I'm not sure I did that. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> that's Lockhart. Like I read, my, in the I hospital. read my books. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> yeah, that's Lockhart in the hospital Jesus right there. Jesus Christ. Mm. Okay. Bagman. Bagman is also barely really like he's not in the movies like at all. So he doesn't really have an actor. So he is a video game character picture. I think this one is very easy. He's drinking your drink. He's like, thank yeah. you for the free drink. I am an alcoholic. That is what happens. Um, yeah, it's not malicious even... or anything. It's not malicious. He has a disease. Okay. Okay. He has a disease. Yeah. He's not doing it out of malice. Um, he just can't help himself. He just can't help. Yeah. It just is. A... Don't give a drink to an alcoholic. <laughs> don't, don't ask an alcoholic to hold your drink. Unless they already have their own drink that they're drinking. They can hold the two no, drinks. And then. Both. Yeah, and then they're okay. well. Well, they got to finish the drink first. You got to go a little fast. You got to go fast, right? So they don't finish their drink because they're going to move on to yours if they did. But um, but yeah. Um, in general, probably not the best idea. He's an alcoholic. He's not doing it on purpose. Um, but he a hundred percent drinks your drink. He drinks it. He finishes his drink. He drinks your drink. That's how that is. Hundred percent. Hundred fucking percent. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Mad what about Mister Constant Vigilance? This constant vigilance uh, your drink. Here's the reality of what he would do is that you would he would agree to hold your drink and then he'd throw your drink out because it's already been spiked. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So I'm is that wrong. like a special kind of abandoning <laughs> your drink? He like a, that he is a hundred percent a special kind of abandoning your drink. He, he like makes abandons you it from abandon the world. your drink. <laughs> <laughs> he a hundred percent makes you abandon his drink yeah or your drink. spike your spike because your drink. okay so he's like man this drink's already spiked you yeah. you let it out of your eyes you trusted me you don't you should not be drinking in fact he thinks you should go home after you've asked him to hold your drink it's very like much... obviously you've lost your mind yes oh my god so i think raw what you're pointing out is it's very similar energy to snape actually like for moody it's about teaching you a lesson to be more vigilant with your drinks he yells at you for drinking something from a party instead of sneaking your own drink into the party like a real person. <laughs> 100%. He'd be like, you trusted the punch? Do you know how many, like, you're concerned about this drink in here being spiked, but you got it out of the punch bowl where any son of a bitch can walk by and poison it? Like, you really? don't know what's in there. You don't know what's in there. And I'm saving your life. That's what you're, this is what you're worried about? No, we're not drinking anymore. Yeah. Like, like he says, yes. Alistair's like, yes, he pours it down <laughs> You the should sink. not be drinking. Go you come home. back for your drink. I poured it out. It was already spiked. You're welcome. It was already spiked. <laughs> like, what did you expect? <laughs> yes. I love that. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. So funny. Okay. Mr. Slughorn. He does that in front of you while maintaining eye contact. He would definitely, if the sink was within reach, yeah, he is, would do it would. maintaining eye contact. Yes. Or if you were in the lawn or if you were outside, he 100% would just pour it out. Yeah, in front of be you. Be like, trust no one, constant vigilance. And he'd be like, the fuck, Alistair? Be, do it, do it, <laughs> do how you're supposed to and take, drink the entire thing before you enter the bathroom. Or bring, or bring your own. <laughs> <laughs> you should have your own hip flask. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Horace Slughorn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Horace Slughorn is complicated, right? So he definitely, Very. he he's I think definitely like, yes. I think, and I think he's like okay. So he's like our our Slytherin boy. He's still kind of got some bigotry issues and things like that. He has a lot of favoritism issues and things like that. But, but for him, being polite is very important. Okay, so he mm-hmm. definitely has like a proud boy type of stance in his bigotry. Like it's very important to wear the khaki pants and the collar shirt, right? Yes. That's the type of um, bad guy that he is, um, which is how Harry is able to manipulate him, right? He's able mm-hmm. to play on the juxtaposition of the things that Slughorn is, you know, not so proud of about himself 
versus like, um, you know, how he actually is and the shame that he has from that. So I think he definitely says yes. And I think he makes an effort to hold your drink. I think he, I think he does because I think he sees the value in you as a person and what you can provide him for this favor. Could be. Yes. Because he's so, all about using people and transactionalness in his he's relationships. King, he's all about the kingmaker and mm-hmm. all about having the good reputation and all about all of that. So I 100% think that he would hold your drink. He would not be honored. He would not be excited. He would not care about the nuance. Um, I think that he like would just say yes. And then have a conversation with you afterwards in order to get your drink back, basically, uh, and try to build goodwill so that he can later use you in another life or it's determine whether or not you're worth it or not. Yes, yes. It's a schmoozing opportunity. Absolutely. He's, he's a car salesman. Like, that's yes. just kind of the personality he's got. So, yes, he would. He 100% would do that. Yes, yes. I yes, think yes. he would hold your drink, but it's at the end for me. Yeah, a nefarious sort of hold your drink. <laughs> hold your drink is leverage. <laughs> All right, Filch. What do we think about Filch? Filch has, uh, oh my God, what is it called? Like no fat energy? What's that called? Incel. Incel uh, energy. He 100% would spike your drink. Oh my God. See, I guess I have a different and- interpretation of the, the incel energy that he well- has. I think he just does not. He does not have, like, time for this nonsense. He has shit to do that has nothing to do with you. And how dare a woman ask him this sort of thing? So I don't know Mm. if he spikes or if he abandons the drink. I think, no, now that you've said it, I think he would just not hold your drink. Why is Phil invited, right, Kitty? He's no fun. The least fun. He wasn't invited. I think at that level, then, he wouldn't hold your drink. He'd be like, why the fuck are you asking me? Why are you talking to me? I think, yeah, I think he's not there. It would be like a, he wouldn't say yes. He's not there at the party to attend the party. He's trying to keep the party from happening. Yeah. And why are you asking the cop to hold your drink? Like that's dumb. (laughs) dumb. I mean, asking some of it, we've just, as we've discussed, asking some of these people to hold your drink is kind of your fault. You're asking for it in a way, Mm -hmm. unfortunately with some of these. Mm -hmm. This, this, This little trio right here. Why did you ask? This little trio right here with the Percy, Lucius, and Filch. Why did you ask them? <laughs> yeah. And then, and then it can, and then it can go down to Harry a little bit too, because I'm still convinced that if you're asking Harry Potter to hold your drink, famously, famously already poisoned Harry Potter <laughs> to hold your drink, why are you doing it? I feel like if you hand, if you try to get Harry to hold your drink. And what would really happen if it was like a party with everybody there is Hermione would be like, what are you doing, Harry? And like, just take the drink away from him. I got this. Yes. 100%. 100%. <laughs> I agree. He's supposed to clean up, but arrived early to toss people's drinks before they're done. He would so do that, Kitty. He would so do, that. so do that. He would not hold your drink. He would He would think it was trash. He would throw it away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. Oldie moldy voldy. Voldy, I think, is definitely the bad guy here, right? So he's definitely in one of oh, the yeah. bottom tiers, 100%. Um, I have trouble imagining that if I handed Voldemort my drink, that he would, like, even acknowledge my existence. Okay. <laughs> can, we, can we, for a second, in order to, like, really form an opinion here, can we pretend that this is Tom Riddle? Ooh. Yes. Because I think Tom Riddle has a very different reaction than Voldemort. Voldemort would not be invited to the party. There would not be drinking around Voldemort. He would kill you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Hand Voldy but... drink, but when you let it go, it just falls. <laughs> yes, that is, yeah, let's, let's talk about the brass balls of even asking him. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Tom, I think Tom Riddle, however, uh, would is a little bit of an easier concept to 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 think about okay 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 so tom riddle so i'm, I'm imagining um while voldy is a teetotaler voldy would totally be a teetotaler he totally would yeah tom spikes i don't know i think tom does spike i, I think, think tom, tom spikes, spikes to teach you a lesson i don't even think tom spikes to teach you a lesson i think tom spikes because he wants to get away with it 
Oh, he when right. They, when they he, describe, he wants to. Mm. It's like that idea of like terrifying the children in the orphanage, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. He just does it out of like his own sadistic want to see how you'll react. So he'll a hundred percent spike, not because he's going to try to get at you, but because he wants to watch as other people take advantage of you in that situation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I think you're totally right. That's where my brain went to. Is exactly in fact the... that's worse than Lockhart. <laughs> Do you think so? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Worse than I think Lockhart. there's like Lockhart doesn't think he's a bad person. Voldemort no, is doing he, a terrible thing. Yeah, Lockhart thinks that he's <laughs> Lockhart is doing it because he has like some kind of thing that he wants to get out of you, um, or you know something like that. But I think Valdi is doing it um, literally just to be a jerk, just to see like how a sign, like go. trying to trying to figure out how human the the situation like on human brains work mm-hmm, like he's mm-hmm. he, the psychopathic like i am studying this to figure out mm-hmm. what the reaction is sort mm-hmm, of thing mm-hmm. yes he 100 yes, percent yes. was like that's what he's voldemort doing, yeah. voldemort after he returns would not because he doesn't fucking care he but wouldn't even Tom look Riddle at you would. if you he asked him you. yeah if you no. asked him he would just he wouldn't even look at you it's just like but he didn't exist tom riddle was still trying to figure that out yeah i like that okay all right. Awesome. Last but not least, Dumbledore. What does uh, Dumbledore do? Dumbledore for me is the ultimate would not hold your drink. Yeah. Yeah. He is the ultimate would not hold your drink because he would be like, he he wouldn't let you know that he's insulted that you're asking, uh, but he would be. Yeah. And he'd also be like, I don't want to hold your drink. So let's do something like, oh, but we can turn it into birds. And then he'd turn it into birds. That's right. That's right. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi. Soda, welcome in raiders. You have come in at the, at the reveal moment. This is our tears of Harry Potter men holding their drink. Thank you. Oh, we'll let the, like we'll that. let this play. Be quiet for a second, Landon. Okay. You're going to hate me. What? Um, what are the crafting materials for in August? You didn't scrap it. I went to repair, and um, you see the buttons are right next to each other. You didn't scrap it. They're they're right there. I'm, I don't. I'm... You scrapped it, didn't you, Soda? You scrapped it. I bet you did. <laughs> Sorry, Landon couldn't hear the clip. It was a it was a clip of um, no, can... Soda absolutely failing at uh, at the game he was playing. <laughs> Love that. All right. Well, welcome in, Raiders. What we are doing today is ranking the Harry Potter men on a list of um, whether they would hold your drink at the party. Either, either they would hold it, would not hold it, would abandon, would drink your drink, would spike your drink. We've been talking about the specifics and scenarios for all the men's. Um, you can do your tiers, too, and we would love to see them if you would do your tiers and share them with us. Uh, if you make an account, you can save it and then share it. And you can join the Discord and uh, and do, do just that and hang out with us. So for yeah. those of you guys that don't know what we do um, on Saturdays, we uh, here at the theater, we have a show called Interstage Window. And um, it is always a community. I, I usually do not stream by myself on Saturdays. Landon is my co-host for most of the streams. We do all kinds of fun things, media analysis, um, internet Internet analysis, all kinds of stuff, um, and then we also and, um, do community days on Saturdays. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of yeah. fun, super. Fun. Uh, and right now, we today dice decided uh, which Harry Potter character men would hold your drink and which mm-hmm. would spike them, and the levels mm-hmm. between that. Yep, of course. Well, thank you so much for raiding, Soda. Yes, of course. Uh, feel free to lurk, raid, and run. That's what I do, too. <laughs> it's too tiring after stream. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. So, yeah. So Overall. Uh, I think what we've ended up with, or at least what I ended up with, is my mm-hmm. ultimate would hold my drink is Neville fucking Longbottom. Yeah. And my ultimate would spike your drink is Tom Riddle himself. Mm -hmm. So I definitely agree on the ultimate spike. Like we've got basically the same would spike your drink, but my what hold your drink is slightly different. Like I can't dethrone Bill. Okay. Fair. I just can't. I think it's just Neville's commitment to making sure that this drink is not touched by any person that really, really throws it for me. That really gives him that extra edge. Yes, you might lose your drink in the process, but hey, no one's ever touching that again. 
Mm-hmm. Lady, would you hold drinks? <gasps> Hi, lady. Would you hold drinks, lady? She wouldn't. Lady hold would drink. abandon drinks. She would lady, absolutely lady, abandon. Lady would abandon your drink. <laughs> lady would absolutely abandon your drink if you set it on the table in front of her. She would knock it off the table, um, mm. because that's fun. Isn't that right, lady? You want to do the stream? <gasps> Hi, lady. Sherlock, Sherlock, who is my cutie right here, I cannot, I cannot give him because he is sleeping. But uh, he a hundred percent would drink a drink. <laughs> yes, lady would shove it off the table. Yep, exactly, kitty, you got it. <laughs> so yeah, I think like it's really hard because there's it's different energies, right? But I think the top three for the would hold your drink is Bill, Remus, and um, and Neville for sure. So that's what I've got my in order, and I've got Bill, then Remus, then Neville. I got, I got Neville, Remus, Bill, James, Jimmy P. Yeah. Making, making that yeah. top four. I like that. And then we've got for would not hold your drink. Dumbledore has the most would not hold your drink energy. Oh yeah. Um, Lucius and and Percy also have major would not hold your drink energy, but just like a different vibe, you know. Yes. Absolutely. And then for the abandon your drink. Honestly, my favorite of those. I need to rearrange this slightly. My favorite of the uh, the would abandon your drink is Moody. Moody's my favorite would abandon your drink. Moody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Strongest conviction to abandon your drink, mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I think Harry has the least commit conviction to abandon your drink. Mm -hmm. He just would, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the would drink your drink. My top is uh, Ludo, followed quickly by Sirius for would drink your drink. So, I yeah. just love Sirius's, our little headcanon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, too much to, to let that go <laughs> the whole scenario of you handing it to him and him being like oh thank you love and he goes to drink your drink and then remus just says oh oh here we go let me just take this <laughs> from <laughs> serious do you still want this <laughs> or i'll make you another one you, which one you want another one okay go to the bathroom mm -hmm. there'll be another one waiting for you <laughs> yes so these are our tiers we would love to hear y'all if you're watching on youtube please leave your links down below so we can take a look i would love to do that Please. Um, yeah, I think this is the end of our stream. I think we're ending, we're ending just a touch a little bit early. Um, so, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it back. Don't stop sharing your screen landing because then it will mess up. Um, and we won't be able to yep. see your beautiful face, I'm, but I'm going to switch back away I'm from here. the tears. Yeah. Okay. So I'm switching back away from the tears so that I can take a second to go and find somebody to raid. While I am doing that, Landon, where can everybody find you? Um, you can find me at... Uh, Landon Maine on all social medias, uh, L-A-N-D-I-N, because it is a pun. Um, and I also wanted to just give a heads up that it is summer and fall is quickly approaching, which means that I will probably have a classroom uh, Amazon wish list coming out shortly. So I just want to prepare you for me plugging that for the next month. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not currently made, but I am a teacher in the American education system. And unfortunately, that means that I am responsible for providing my all my own pencils, pens, uh, notebooks and books for my kids. Yep. So uh, any help would be great. Yeah, so we will start promoting that probably when we come back. So I told you yes. guys in the middle of the stream, but I'm going to just say, say it again now. We are taking a two-week stream break. We will be back on, let me just get a look at a calendar. Uh, thank you so much for the applause, Kitty. Now Landon gets to live another week. Amazing. I guess I that will have to sustain you for two weeks. I, I'll figure out how. Um, I think that we come back on the uh, 20th. Yeah, so the next artistic license will be on the 18th, and the next interstage window will be on the 20th. So I hope to see you guys all there, because we have something really fun planned for the next interstage window. Landon, what are we talking about in August? Yes. Oh my gosh, Karen convinced me to do another anime, but it wasn't that hard this time because it is Sailor Moon Crystal. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. It is the remake of the popular Sailor Moon anime show, and uh, we're watching the whole thing, taking it season by season, might even do the movies, who knows, um, and just going to try to throw it in there and talk about what themes we're seeing, what sort of lessons we're learning, the difference between American and Japanese culture within a popular media source. So please mm -hmm. come check it out. Yeah, so Sailor Moon Crystal, we're going to do season one. The next week, we're going to do season two. Um, and we're going to try to we're going to kind of try to do that this little in between before we go to the last Harry Potter book. So it's going to be mm -hmm. going to be big old fun. All big right. Big old fun. 
Yep. And where can you find me? You can find me in all the places, um, but mostly Twitter is my main social media. So you want to go follow my Twitter if you want to make sure that you're getting updates and things like that. You want to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to make sure that you see all of my VODs. I post them all on the YouTubes. Um, and then also you want to join my Discord if you want to make sure that um, you get all of the right notifications. I cannot control YouTube and Twitch's notifications, and I know that it is not always doesn't always do a good job of actually giving you all the notifications, but if you join my Discord, I make sure that that all happens. Um, and also, it's just a fun place to chat as well. And that's where you can find me. All right, so we are going to raid Lady Sushi. She's not quite uh, live yet. It's still on starting soon, but she's going to be playing some Kingdom Hearts. She plays Kingdom Hearts on Saturdays. Um, I've watched a couple of her streams. She's uh, she's good friends with uh, with Shady, who is a streamer that I've rated before. Um, it's a pretty darn good stream. So even though she's not quite live yet for me to take a look, um, I know it's going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and raid her. She does a she's a variety streamer, kind of like me. A lot of her her show is very similar to like what I do on Thursdays for Artistic License. So I think you guys will like it. Alrighty. So here we go. Raid is up. So we're going to go do that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day. And don't forget to be awesome. All right. Bye, y'all. See you later. Bye.